Tonight is a very special occasion for me. I cannot think of any other time where I have been a part of the art unveiling in the bank. Has any of you ever been to an unveiling in the no. bank? That speaks volumes to the commitment that Fifth Third has with our community. And I just wanted to thank a couple people from Fifth Third here today. Nicole, Josh and Scales, Marino Orlandi, and um, Matthew Clark, the, the branch manager here at this office, and um, Kenya and Armenta for pulling this together. Let's take a second and just give them a hand of applause. I'm glad to be here tonight. Um, really um, welcome. And, and what tonight's about, it's really Fifth Third's commitment to Black History Month. And it's Fifth Third recognizing and partnering with the African American community. I, I think, as Calvin mentioned, I'm the co chair of North Star. North Star is the black employees from Fifth Third. So there are several employees here who are members of the organization. And, and to tell you about tonight, North Star played an important role in tonight. We went through a selection process of deciding which piece we wanted to purchase from Gallery Dishard. And um, Tina, one of the members, took, yeah, yeah. Took, went to Andre's gallery. She took several pictures of works of art that he had present. We used, um, uh, we, we posted them, we sent out an email, we asked for individuals to vote, and we took a tally, and several things mm -hmm. voted, and this one won hands down. So I'll let Andre describe the piece later, but I wanted to know that, that all of the African American employees voted and weighed in. And luckily, they agreed with Matthew, who's the host, who gets to enjoy it every day. Uh, Matthew voted first, but I think uh, we didn't lead anybody, but everybody voted independently, and, and, it, and it worked out. So we're really excited about tonight. We're coming here together uh, to celebrate Black History Month in 2010. There's a lot of things that are very important. And one of the things on the Fifth Third Bank side is to understand that the dynamic of how banking and working with communities has changed dramatically. If you want a, a bank that's going to be there to give you a, a regular checking account or a savings account or whatnot, then we can do that for you. But we're really about building communities and really about being a part of the community. And as thus we've moved into Hyde Park, going into our second year, we have to do our best to establish ourselves as an icon of the community and how we're going to be part of Hyde Park as well as Bronville and some of the other areas that are around here. But what better way to do that? than to do it with someone who has become an icon in this community. So Andre Gachard has been doing artwork for about 19 years now. <laughs> and how he started is working and painting alongside when he worked at State Farm. And one of the things he decided is he realized, as our slogan, he realized, you know what? These are some of the things I'm going to do for my dreams. And he followed his dream. And so thus, so, so, so many years later, he was able to start on his own practice and uh, his own gallery in 2005, has now become an icon in this community. There's not almost one person that I've talked to that once I mention his name do not, does not know who he is and what he's about. So without further ado, the man of the hour, Andre Gachard. Good evening. Good evening. I want to first start off by acknowledging my wife, Frances Gachard. Many of you know Andre Gichard, many of you know the gallery, but a lot of people don't always know the work behind the gallery. You always hear the story about there's always a strong woman behind a strong man. I, I'm here to testify to that, and that's what I want to first say. I really appreciate the support and the work we do at the gallery. Secondly, I want to acknowledge Fifth Third, Nicole, Marino, Calvin, Matthew, the whole staff here in this branch and sincerely really express that you know we've worked with and we work with different banks and different institutions all the time and this is my first experience where my banking relationship is more like a friendship. The relationship really has taken me to a different level in terms of being able to handle my business in a way that it's very convenient and easy for my computer but I can call and then I'll crack jokes with Calvin or someone about just normal stuff. So when you think about how they've taken a position and positioned themselves to really be more of a friend and a neighbor in the community versus a business is really to be applauded. So thank you. Tonight is special for me because the series of work that this is in is a series that was inspired by my father. My father, not my father, but my grandfather. My father 
was from New Orleans. His father was from New Orleans, but he was a famous jazz musician in New Orleans in the early 30s. He played live for the radios and migrated to St. Louis and actually played and was featured in Eddie Randall and the Blues Devils. So he has a history of jazz that helped me to understand my own creative energy. So this work is part of the jazz series. And what's really special about this, the only other time that we used to have unveilings was with a collector. So every new piece that he would bring to his home, he would make it a celebration. And Chicago is 70 plus years of fine art movements. There's a renaissance going on. Our national treasure is our culture. So for Fifth Third to celebrate this and allow us to have this moment together, I really appreciate it. So without further ado. And the painting is called Rat-a-tat-tat. -tat. Rat-a-tat-tat is significant for this bank because it's sounding the drum. And you know from our African history that was a form of communication. And I think the message that is being communicated is that this is a partnership. And this is a new way of involving yourself in the community. So this series traditionally involves a musician who's passionate, but then I use color as sound. So the yellow hues are actually the music. And the musician is, and I like to talk about mediums and educate because it's so important for us as future collectors and activists that we understand that this is acrylic and mixed media on canvas. And then I'm sculpting with molding paste, but then I'm coming over that with round pieces of iron and oxidizing. So it's about the energy. It could be any jazz set, it could be any musician, any drummer, but it's also about the energy and the passion that you feel. So we actually have chosen a place that we'd like to hang the work and sit right around this corner in the bank. And I'm very honored to be here tonight to be able to share my work with the High Park community on a regular basis, and I invite you all to continue to come out and enjoy the art of the African diaspora. My work, artists from America, artists from around the country, and we actually are planning to bring in a sculptor from South Africa in two weeks with over 35 sculptures. So what we're doing and who, who you're seeing are going to be works, including this, and our, my work and other works, that will appreciate and give you the opportunity to pass on wealth and culture. Because at the end of the day, while it looks pretty, it's a great investment. And this is an investment in a relationship. So I want to thank you all tonight, and thank you for coming out.